안녕하세요. Hi everyone. Welcome to this Korean class again. This is step 3, 6 class of grammar part. Let's read today's title. 음식을 만들 줄 알아요? 음식을 만들 줄 알아요? 음식 is food or a dish. In this sentence, it can be dish. 만들다 is make. 줄 알아요 is today's expression. Uh, we're going to see those expressions specifically. And we can see a lot of uh, example sentences which include these expressions. 줄 알아요 is expression for be able to. Negation of 줄 알아요 is 줄 몰라요. This word is from 알다. That means to know. This word is from 모르다. That means don't know. Using these words, we can make be able to expression. That means, are you be able to make this dish? Are you be able to make this dish? 음식을 만들 줄 알아요? And there are another expression for 만들 줄 알아요. That is 만들 수 있어요. 수 있어요. It's also the same expression, be able to. And a negation of 수 있어요 is 없어요. Okay. So there are two kinds of expression for be able to in Korean. One is 줄 알아요. The other is 수 있어요. 음식을 만들 줄 알아요. 음식을 만들 수 있어요. Is same expression. So, today we're going to focus on, th on studying those three grammatical factors. 을줄 알다 모르다. Then, 르 불규칙. 르 불규칙 is 르. 불 is ear, regular, uh, verb or adjective. And 내요 is ending unit, which is exclamatory ending unit. And it is similar to declarative form, ending unit. Um, let's start with 을줄 알다 모르다 expression. In case of verb, 을줄 알다 or 리을줄 알다 is attached according to um, the ending consonant of last syllable of the stem word word stem. 읽다. What is stem of the verb? 읽 is stem of the verb. And this um, last syllable of word stem, there is ending consonant. In this case, 을줄 알다 is attached. So, 읽을 줄 알아요. What does it mean? Yes, I can read. I'm able to read. 읽다 is read. 한국어를 배웠어요. I learned Korean. 읽을 줄 알아요. So, I can read Korean. In that case, 읽을 줄 알아요. Expression is used. Okay. And in case of 쓰다 and 만들다, in this verb stem, there is no ending consonant. And this verse, there is ending consonant in last level of stem. But this is real ending consonant. When there is no ending consonant or it ends with real ending consonant, just real jul alda is attached. For example, 한국어를 배워서 한국어로 쓸줄 알아요. Here. 쓸줄 알아요. 릴줄 알아요 is attached. 한국어를 배워서 because I learned Korean. 쓸줄 알아요. 쓰다 is what? Write. So I can write in Korean. 쓰다 is write. 읽다 is read. 쓰다 is write. 만들다 is make. 갈비찜 is kind of steamed stew. Steamed beef stew. 갈비찜을 만들 줄 알아요? Can you make, are you be able to make 갈비찜? 
만들 줄 알아요? Okay, let's read this. 어, 을줄 알다 expression again. 읽을 줄 알아요. 쓸줄 알아요. 만들 줄 알아요. Okay, let's see more examples. 스키를 탈줄 알아요? Are you be able to um, play ski? Are you be able to ski? Or can you ski? Can you play ski? Okay, 타다. We use 타다 verb for ski. 리을줄 알아요 is used. 한국어를 할줄 알아요. 한국어 is Korean. 하다 is do Korean. That means I can speak Korean. So I can speak Korean. 할줄 알아요. 젓가락이 chopstick. 쓸줄 알아요. 쓰다 is use. The first meaning of 쓰다 is right. The second meaning of um, 쓰다 is use. So can you use chopstick? Are you be able to use chopstick? 쓸줄 알아요? 불고기를 만들 줄 알아요. 불고기 is just seasoned, seasoned beef. Meat is Korean traditional um, dish. So I can make 만들 줄 알아요 here. I can make 불고기. Okay. This is second grammar um, grammatical point today. That is real 불규칙. 불규칙. That means irregular. Um, in case of word, 모르다, 누르다. What is common thing in these two words? Yes, it includes 르 syllable. In that case, the yo form of this word is 몰라요. This is process to make the yo form. This is also the process to make a yo form. Just ignore it. Just um, memorize the specific form for this word. 모르다. That is 몰라요. What does it mean? Yes, I don't know. 몰라요. 몰라요. We use a lot of times in, in daily life. I don't know. 몰라요. 몰라요. 누르다 is push or press. Just 눌러요 is push or press. 버튼을 눌러요. That means push the button. 버튼을 눌러요. 눌러요 is push or press. So, 버튼 is button. So, 버튼을 눌러요. Push the button, press the button. 모르다, 몰라요. 누르다, 눌러요. Okay. That is real 불규칙. There are more examples for 르 irregular verb or adjective. 빠르다, 빨라요. 빠르다 is fast. 다르다, yes, 달라요. 부르다, 불러요. 다르다 is different. 부르다 is sing. When you sing a song, you can say 노래를 불러요. 빠르다, 빨라요. 다르다, 달라요. 부르다, 불러요. So, let's read again. 몰라요, 눌러요. 빨라요, 달라요, 불러요. These are all the irregular verb or adjective. If a also expression is attached, it's same. 빨라서, 달라서, 불러서. Because it is fast. Because it is different. Because I sing a song. The past form of 씁니다 is like this. 빨랐습니다. It was fast. 달랐습니다. It was different. 불렀습니다. I sang a song. 빠릅니다, 다릅니다, 부릅니다. It's 
same logic. Barimnida. It's not um in this case when simnida is attached to irregular uh, formula is uh is not applied. Barimnida, tarimnida, burimnida. Barigo, tarugo, burugo. Only those three case the irregular um, formula is applied. 빨라요, 빨라서, 빨랐습니다. 달라요, 달라서, 달랐습니다. 불러요, 불러서, 불렀습니다. Okay, let's see the example sentence. 노래를 많이 불러서 목이 아파요. I sang a song a lot, so my throat is painful. 불러서, here, because I sing a song a lot. 약속 시간을 몰라요, 몰라요. I don't know, I don't know the exact 약속 시간, appointment time. 단어를 모르면 사전을 찾아요. If I don't know the word, I'm looking for the dictionary. I'm finding out the word in the dictionary. 모르면, in this case, it's not 몰라면. 모르면 모르 is same as stem of the verb 모르 모르다 but when you is attached it is changed to 몰라요 okay last one 내요 is exclamatory form for um, the sentence but this exclamatory ending unit is same as declarative ending unit most of times. For example, 유진 씨는 노래를 잘 부르네요. 유진 씨 is good at singing. It's exclamatory meaning like this. In this case, 내요 is attached. But most of the time, it is same as declarative form. So we put period here. But in this sentence, it includes the meaning of exclamatory form. Wow, Eugene Shi is good at singing. Eugene Shi singing very well. Second sentence. 이제는 매운 음식도 잘 먹네요. Now, he or she eats spicy food well. Wow. 먹네요. 새로 산 옷이 잘 어울리네요. A new clothes that you bought becomes you well. Wow. 어젯밤에 비가 많이 내렸네요. Last night, there was heavy rain heavy rain so if you put exclamatory note at the end of sentence yes it's okay however um most of time this ending unit is same as declarative form so we omit this exclamatory notes okay Those are three grammatical factors that we studied today. Can you understand well? Okay, study more if necessary. Thank you. 감사합니다.